Hello, my beautiful darling Cancer babies. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Cancerian only channel. Cross watchers are welcome. Um, I do have a Leo and Virgo only channel, and then I've got my main channel, Tarot of Light. The links to all of those are below. Um, please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and when the winners are announced. Just post a positive affirmation or something that you're grateful for in the uh, comment section below with a green heart to win a reading with me. Winners are announced on the first of the month on the community page. If you would like to book a reading with me, if you would like to check out my tarot and oracle decks or my tarot tutorial, all that info is below, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get started with a butterfly blessing. This is one of my decks. Spirit, what blessing is coming towards Cancer, please? What blessing is coming towards Cancer, please? Okay. We have joy arrives and your blessings both thrive and multiply. Good news, good luck, blocks removed, and peace. Ooh, Cancer, that is a nice one. Okay, so guys, your your blessings are, not only are they coming, but they're gonna be thriving and multiplying. Very nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at what we have going on here. I'm being called to use this deck. All right, Spirit, tell me about Cancer, please. Tell me about Cancer, please. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, so we've got codependent, we've got submissive, and we've got loyalty, and then we have seducer under the deck. Cancer, what is going on with your person? So Cancer, from what I'm getting with these cards, there is... I, I gotta be honest, I think that your person was entertaining a third party energy. And I think that this third party energy wanted your person's full attention and loyalty. I think that this third party was clinging to your person, wanting your person to agree that it was going to be them and just them. So if you're in separation with your person right now, it is because this third party would not stop until your person, you know, destroyed your connection. If you're in a relationship right now, and your relationship seems to be failing or distant, it is because there is a home wrecker in the mix. This is someone that wants to win and they don't care. They don't care who they hurt. They don't care who they hurt. So there is a third party here that has fought tooth and nail to destroy your connection. Now, for some of you, for some of you, and we're going to pull tarot to see which way this is going. For some of you, it is a possibility that your person wasn't cheating with this individual. It's a possibility that this could be a friend of your person's that just has feelings for your person. And this could be a friend that wants to win, wants to antagonize your connection until it breaks apart. So let's see what we have here. Spirit, tell me about cancer, please. Tell me about Cancer. We have the Four of Swords. We've got the Three of Cups. We've got the High Priestess. And we've got the Ace of Pentacles. Pisces Energy. Tell me about Cancer. We've got the Eight of Wands. We've got the Hanged Man. Strong Pisces here. We've got the King of Wands, and we've got the Six of Pentacles. Under the deck, we've got the Hermit, and we've got the Ace of Cups with the Seven of Cups. Virgo energy. Virgo energy. 
Cancer, I think that there is somebody in your person's ear that is pulling your person away from this connection. Or it's like your person is tempted by this individual and they're kind of on the fence as to whether they want to choose you or choose this person. I believe that this person that is coming towards your person is potentially an ex or somebody that they haven't spoken to in a while. These two have been speaking and I think that it has caused your person to become a little disconnected in your connection. Like your person's not reaching for you sexually. I'm getting someone that specifically is sleeping on the couch, not in bed with you type of thing. They, you know, they're, they're quote unquote falling asleep early and, you know, not texting you good night or something like that. This is someone that's on the fence. They're breadcrumbing you or ignoring you to give to another situation. With the hermit here, this is someone that's trying to figure out, do I want to start a new path with this person? With the Ace of Cups and the Seven of Cups, it's almost like I have the opportunity to go somewhere else or to be with somebody else, but do I really want that? Do, do I want to be with this person? Do I want to be with cancer? Do I, do I want to leave cancer? This does not look to me like this is somebody that's really interested in keeping something, a third party type of vibe. They're not. <clears throat> this is somebody that's trying to make a decision on who they should drop and who they want to be with. They're confused. There, this is a very confused person. Could be a Leo, Sag, or an Aries. Tell me about this Four of Swords, please. And the Six of Cups. You see, there, there is definitely a past person that has come into the picture. Someone here uh, came forward and told your person that they were still in love. Two of Cups with the Three of Cups and the Judgment card. Sagittarius Energy. There is someone from your person's past. Now, if you were dealing with somebody that has a baby mama or a baby daddy, the baby mama or baby daddy could have come forward and said, listen, you know, I still have feelings for you. I would still want this to work. Somebody has come forward and it's creating a sense of, you know, confusion or chaos. With the high priestess and the two of pentacles and the five of cups, the energy that your person is sitting in is I don't know what to do. I don't want to hurt cancer. I, I don't want to regret the decision that I'm, I'm about to make. I don't want to regret anything. With the two of swords here, like I said, this is not someone that's interested in cheating or maintaining a third party situation. With the two of swords and the ace of pentacles cancer, this is definitely somebody that is in a vibe of really sitting in a place of needing to make a very difficult decision. It's either they're going to choose you or they're going to choose this other person, okay? With the Eight of Wands, the Sun card, the Fool card, the Ace of Swords, and the Temperance card, Leo Aries energy, Sag energy. There's a lot of communication happening here, um, you know, when you reunite with somebody and everything seems fun and happy and, uh, you know, reminiscing this, uh, this ex could live at a distance and they're wanting to travel towards your person with the ace of swords and temperance here. Um, there's a lot of clearing of the air between these two. There's closure, forgiveness, maybe, but still, it, as much as it may feel good to reconnect with this ex and laugh and joke and reminisce and all that other stuff, your person is still on the fence. This king of wands with the hanged man is still, still waiting to figure out what they should do. This is someone that's really scared to make the wrong decision. Tell me about this hanged man and the ten of wands. Yeah, this is, yeah, your person's going through it. 
your person is going through it. They're, they're, they're stuck between making a very difficult decision. If you are in separation with your person and you're waiting for them to come back around, the reason why they're not coming back around is because they're waiting to see if, you know, if they should go back to the ex or not, you know, that they're waiting to see if they should move forward with something new or if they should go back to the ex. Tell me about this King of Wands and the Three of Wands. Again, Cancer, I mean, if you look at this Three of Wands here, you see this man, he's holding on to these two, you know, uh, sticks here and, and he's turning his back on this third one, right? This is someone that, again, not interested in a third party situation. This is someone that knows that they need to turn their back on somebody. They know that they need to walk away from somebody. They need to give somebody up, but they just don't know who. Page of Wands, the Eight of Swords, and the Two of Wands. They just don't know what to do. I see them kind of like brainstorming, analyzing, going through pros and cons of each person. You know, um, this person may be in love with both of you or this person may not. I, I'm getting a, a, this overwhelming fear of regretting the decision that they, they, are gonna, they need to make. There's just an overwhelming fear here. All right, let's see what's happening for cancer, please. What's happening for cancer, please. Okay, so cancer, we've got no, we have meddler and we've got mystery. So Cancer, I think that you're trying to figure out what's going on with your person. If you guys are in separation, you're trying to figure out what they're up to and if they're going to come back. If you're living with this person and they're super distant, you're trying to, you know, um, you're trying to figure out what's going on. You could be trying to ask this person's friends or family, like what's going on with this individual. You're, you're not getting any answers here. And that's because with secret love here, we've got third party forbidden. I'm crazy about you, but I can't tell people about us. And I don't want to tell you why there is a, your, your person's friends and family have been instructed to keep everything a secret. For some of you, not all of you, but for some of you, this could be a bisexual situation where the third party is of the same sex and your person is trying to figure out if they want to be with, you know, you or someone of the same sex. Cancer, you could just be really upset and fuming and, uh, you know, Maybe you're the one, you know, talking to friends and family, venting about how you think there's a third party in the picture. You could be accusing this person that there's someone else in the picture and they're telling you no. So from what I'm getting from all of this, you don't have actual proof as of right now that something is going on behind your back but you know that something isn't quite right okay you know something isn't quite right and you're right it's not spirit tell me about cancer please tell me about cancer please tell me about cancer we have the three of cups we have the nine of swords and we've got the hanged man, Pisces energy again. So Cancer, if you're in separation, this is going to be one of those things where you thought your person would fight for you. You thought your person would fight for this connection, okay? And you're really suffering here because you're like, do it. should I keep holding on? Should I keep waiting? Okay. Um, and this is whether you guys are living together or separated. Uh, there's a very strong disconnect between you and your person. And you really just don't know how to fix it. You don't know what, you know, you just kind of, you're left in the dark here. 
you're just left in the dark. And I feel like you want to fix things with your person. You want to understand what is going on, but it's like you're being put on the back burner. This person isn't coming forward. They're not trying to make things better with you. We've got the Six of Cups, the Lover's Card, and the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, Gemini energy. There is definitely the lover's card talks about Adam, Eve, and the snake. Your person was tempted by somebody from their past. And uh, again, with this king of pentacles energy, this is actually generally a loyal person, okay? So this is not somebody that wants to do the whole cheating thing or the third party thing, Um this is somebody that's trying to decide who to give commitment to, okay? We've got the Eight of Wands with the Six of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. It's like instead of trying to make things work with you, Cancer, this person is entertaining something else at this moment in time. So I feel like you're trying to talk to your person, but they're deflecting, they're not interested, they're projecting, they're, they're not wanting to talk and work things out with you because they're not sure what road they want to take yet. Tell me about this Nine of Swords, please. Tell me about this Nine of Swords, please. We've got the Ace of Swords. The nine, nine of swords, ace of swords, that's 10 swords, cancer. So I think that you're fearing that this is it. Your relationship is really over. You are coming to the understanding that there is a big problem here. You can't put your finger on what the problem is, but you are coming into an understanding of, you know, this is it. This may really be the, the beginning of the end or the end. The hanged man and the strength card, Leo energy. Um, this is somebody that just, they're pulling back. Do you understand what I'm saying? They're, they're just pulling back. Um, as much as you may want to try to connect with them, talk to them, let's go out to dinner, let's do this, let's have a conversation. You know, they're just pulling, so you just can't reach them anymore. They're just out of reach, okay? Five of cups with the six of cups and the seven of pentacles. Cancer, you're dealing with somebody that is stuck in memory lane with an ex. And this person may come off looking sad. They may come off looking depressed. They may come off looking, uh, you know, it's like you're going to see a shift in your person's energy. They're, they're going to look very depressed, very sad, very sullen, you know, because they're, they're reminiscing about the past. And you're like, what the hell is your problem? What is going on? Yeah, see, the moon card here with the lover's card, Pisces energy. The Ten of Swords, the Tower, and the World card. The Ace of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups. Excuse me, the Nine of Cups. Cancer, I have to be honest. For some of you, your person may choose the ex. For some of you, your person may choose the person that's been in the, in the uh, connection the longest. With the Ace of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Nine of Cups... I don't know, though. I, I mean, this is definitely your person's choosing. With the Ten of Swords, the Tower, and the World card, your person is choosing, okay? But, so, I don't know. This could be a representation where your person is coming towards you because they want you and they're offering you commitment. Or this could be a representation of your person is, is uh, not choosing you and you're moving on to something new. So all I can say for now is that a choice has definitely been made, okay? A choice has definitely been made. As far as I can see for you, Cancer, either this person's going to choose you or you're moving on to something new. But either way, I mean, I see you being happy, okay? So I'm going to take, we're already at almost 20 minutes. I'm going to take this into the extended, okay? 
And we're going to find out what is going to happen with that past situation, that ex situation. And then we're going to find out what's happening with you. You know, for those of you that reconcile with this person, what is that going to look like? And for those of you who... <sighs> oh, God bless me. The truth... And for like, you know, let, let's see what's going to happen here. Is this person choosing the ex or are they choosing you? And if so, what is that going to look like for you? If you reconcile with this person, is this person going to be loyal to you in the long term? If your person chooses the ex or, you know, what is next for you? Okay. All right, guys, the link for the extended is in the description box below and in the comment section below. I love you guys so very much and I will see you there. Take care, my darlings.